another tag video. 12 fragrances, 12 months of fragrance for each month. You want to find out what I've picked? You know what to do. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Scott. This is a Centurion, and today is another tag video. Now, I've been tagged by the lovely Lizzie from Rosen Jones. I will leave a link to her channel in the description. Um, but this tag is 12 fragrances for the 12 months of the year. So one fragrance for each month. Um, I will tag three people at the end of it as well. So do keep watching until the end because you may well be tagged. Um, we will start off in the month that we're in right now. Um, and we'll start off with Alexander J Silver Ombre. Now, this one has got notes of pear, clove, sandalwood, musk, and amber. It's classed as an oriental vanilla fragrance. This is perfect for the hot weather that we've been having. Because it's, it's classy, it's got a pear note in it, and it, it seems almost a tiny bit alcoholic, a bit like champagne, slightly. Um, like a carver, if you will and it's absolutely beautiful it's not overbearing and um it's fresh but yeah it's still got a little bit of naughtiness with that alcohol smell in there as well um but that is alexander j silver ombre now on to september and i've mentioned this one several times before but it is mancera's cedrat poise now this has got your cedar your tonka bean birch it's likened a bit to to aventus by creed um but without the pineapple it's got that lemon in the front now um i it's similar but it's not exactly the same at all it's a fragrance in its own right i love wearing that in the heat and it changes so much as you wear it you then get that woody backbone really coming in with the cedar and the birch and uh, it's perfect for evening wear as it wear in the summer as well but that's Mancera's Sadra Boise now on to October and it could be none other than the Harov Signature Pour On absolutely beautiful fragrance Oh, I love this. Now, this has got lavender, sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh, oud, amongst other things. Do check out my other video, my review on this, because um, I go into far more depth. But it's a beautiful fragrance, really gentlemanly, signature scent, so all year round. But I've chosen it for October. Um, absolutely fantastic. A pleasure to wear, it really is. And you can wear it suited and booted or casual beautiful fragrance now on to november now november is another new acquisition of mine and it is by killian black phantom now in november the weather starts to change it starts to get more cold wet miserable and this is why i picked this one because this is going to cheer me up no end i know it is it's got that boozy rum in the beginning and oh, it's got the coffee and the chocolate and oh, it's just oh, it's to die for. It's a beautiful gourmand and I don't know if you've tried it or not, but it is, you absolutely know it, it's beautiful. That is by Killian Black Phantom. On to December. Now, December is a time when we're, some of us are celebrating Christmas and, and, and the likes, things like that. Um, but it is a, a time for parties and, and celebration. And uh, I could think of nothing better than this beautiful gourmand. I call it a gourmand anyway. And it is made on France's Kurjan Grand Soir. Probably the best amber fragrance on the market. So I've got fingerprints all over it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got this full of vanilla and amber and 
oh, it's just to die for. One of my favourites, that's another new acquisition of mine, and uh, perfect for December. Maison Francis Kurjan Grand Soir. On to January. Still cold, and you, you've had your celebrations, and it's now the time to get back to reality, and it's a bit of a depressing time. So what better than a beautiful, dark, rose fragrance and there we have Tom Ford's Noir de Noir this has got black rose black truffle and it's so decadent it is oh, a beautiful rich dark rose probably one of the best out there um, I love it perfect for January it's going to give you a lift um, I would say it's more suited for evening wear, but it is just such a beautiful fragrance. Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. On to February, and the weather in the UK is still freezing cold. So, I thought, what about a leather scent then? And we have Histoire de Parfum Marquis de Sard, 1740. Now, this is a beautiful leather scent. It's got Nirvana in it. And it's boozy to start off with. It's got amber and it's so, it's quite dark and rich in the leather, but it's a suede type of leather. It's not like a, a boot leather or something like that. It's a, it's a really nice suede leather. And um, one of my favorites, it will last you all day long as well. And it's classy. It's a real classy fragrance. Histoire's de Parfum, Marquis de Sade, 1740. On to March. And the weather's still a bit chilly. It's the start of the spring, um, but it's, you're still gonna need something that's gonna cut through them chilly mornings. Still probably getting frosts. And what better than Daniel Hossier's Mystery Oud. Now this has got notes in it of cumin carrot seed violet angelica oud nutmeg leather and amber and this is a beautiful fragrance and the oud is so wearable as well it's not a skanky oud i don't get much of the cumin or anything um, I don't know what carrot seed really smells like, but the combination of everything in that bottle is one of the best, easiest to wear foods on the market. And uh, such a heavy bottle. This is like a big lump of glass. It's a beautiful fragrance, beautiful oud. Daniel Hossier's Mystery Oud. Um, do check out the rest of his line as well. There's some fantastic ones in there. Now we're on to April. And this is where things are starting to change. The weather is really starting to up its game and get ready for the summer. Spring's now truly here. And I thought, what about a nice chocolatey vanillic patchouli scent? And this is Molinard's Patchouli Intense. This has got a beautiful prey line to it you smell it straight away it's got it's not too sickly you can wear it day and night it's going to last you a good six to seven hours and it's not too hot in april so that it's going to burn off quickly or anything absolutely classy beautiful semi gourmand and molinard patchouli intense beautiful fragrance now on to may now we're getting the warmer weather coming in and <clears throat> I like to wear something that's a little bit more citrus based. So for May we are going for Aqua de Palma's Colonia Intensa. Um, I picked this one out of the whole, it's the only one I've got from the range, but I picked this one because it's got a, look, it's got a slight leather note to it. I didn't want just an all out like citrus like some of them are, but this is it's got that beautiful lemon that is all the way through but you get just a hint of leather in the background and that 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 just tapers down the sparkle 
slightly and it doesn't become so so sharp and it, it actually is a really really creamy it's a beautiful fragrance um, I would wear that more during the daytime than the nighttime but each to their own it's up to you but that's Aqua de Palma Colonia Intensa a beautiful beautiful citrus fragrance on to June and uh, you want something fresh something traditional maybe something that's going to see you through all day because <clears throat> it's really hot out there now and what could be better than Milano Cento Him now this has got lemon, bergamot, pettigrain, lavender, patchouli just to name but a few notes in there and this is to die for it's got that that traditional 80s DNA but it's done in such a way now because it's a re-release it's done in such a way that it's so classy it's it's still old school but with a modern flair to it and it's one of my prized possession, possessions in in my collection and you can pick that up so cheap a 50 ml bottle is going to cost you round about the 30 pound mark um, you can get it in EDP as well. This is an EDT um, and it's just slightly more money and um, it, that's more smoother. But this is beautiful. And on to the last one, which is another Molinard, but because it's July, um, want something that was really going to just keep you cool and freshen you up. And Fig. Fig is actually known for being cooling as well. They use it in a lot of fragrances, especially in the likes of Italy and so forth. Um, but this has got lemon, blackcurrant, fig, jasmine. It's a floral, fig, green fragrance. And it really does cool you down when you wear it in the high heat. And it will last you a good six hours in the high heat. It's a beautiful fragrance. You can pick it up really quite reasonably as well um, from anywhere between 35 and 50 pounds for a 75 ml EDP. Um, beautiful bottles as well. And that is Molinard's Fig. So that is my 12 fragrances for the 12 months. Now I could have picked a lot more, but I think these are the ones that stand out to me the most. So that's why they're in there. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. Before I go, I'd like to tag a few people, if I may. I'd like to tag Darren from Devilish Saints. I'd like to tag Francis from Happiness Sparkles. And also Mark from Aussie Fragrance. Um, thank you ever so much for watching and persevering with this very, very long video. Um, if you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell down below and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you very much.